Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to call a flow from your prompt template. Now, why do you need to do that? Why do we have to call a flow? Now, so far, what we have done is we were able to either do field generation or record summary. And when we were doing those kind of prompt templates, you were able to fetch the, the record details and also the related list, the objects that are tied to that. For example, in the case of account summary, what we did was we were able to fetch the related opportunities and the related cases tied to that account and display in our uh, field generation, right? But now let's say you want to fetch information from a very unrelated object. Now, what do I mean by that is, for example, you are working in a company which deals with iPhone servicing. Okay, that is what your uh, company deals with is different types of issues that are there for iPhone. You try to resolve them. Some people come with a bro broken screen, you help them with that. Some people come with a black screen on the iPhone. Some are having issues with the battery. So there are different types of issues that are available or that can happen to your iPhone. Now you have a object which stores all the different types of issues that are there and what are the solution or recommendations to address those type of issues. Now in this particular org, we don't have access to knowledge articles. So I won't be able to use knowledge articles. What we will do is we'll have a workaround where we'll create a custom object called as knowledge article. That custom object is going to have two fields. One is called as type of issue, which is going to be a simple text field. And the second field is the solution, which is going to be a rich text field, which will have a detailed solution based on what issue the iPhone is having. And then what we're going to do is we are going to create a flow. And in that flow, we are going to fetch that particular knowledge article record based on what case it is, or what type of case it is. If somebody is having a black screen on the iPhone, a knowledge article related to that black screen will be sent over to that user. Similarly, if somebody is having a different type of issue with the iPhone, that respective knowledge article will be fetched and that knowledge article will be sent over to the prompt template and then prompt template can use that output and generate a response. You can call flow within any type of the prompt template. You can call it from field generation prompt template. You can also call a flow within the record summary template. So it doesn't matter what type of template it is. All I'm trying to show you how you can invoke a flow from your template. Okay. And why do we do that? The reason is if you have to fetch some additional information, which is not directly tied to your object, let's say knowledge article and case has no relationship. There is no relationship. There is a place where you have a bunch of articles based on the type of issues the iPhone has, and uh, you need to fetch them during the runtime based on what type of case it is. So then what you can do is you can fetch that information within the flow and you can pass that information over to your prompt template. And then the prompt template will use that output to create a response. How do we do all of that? We are going to see in the next couple of videos. So the first thing what we're going to do is we are going to create a custom object called as knowledge article because we don't have access to the knowledge article out of the box in this particular org. So I'll go over to the object manager and the first thing we'll do is we'll create a custom object. And what is the name of the custom object? The name is knowledge article. That is the name of my custom object and uh, the plural label is knowledge articles. And then you will have knowledge article number. It is going to be a auto number. We'll call it as KA starting from 000, 000 and starting number is one. It The features, we will add all these features just like we create any custom object. We are going to create that and uh, we will add notes and custom tab. So now I'm going to create a tab for this object and let's say we use bank and next here visibility is all default. Next we'll include the tab in every application. Doesn't matter, right? So now what I've done is I've created a custom object called as knowledge article. And this object has two fields. One is the type of the issue, which is just a simple text field. You can create a pick list, whatever it is. I'm just showing you how to call a flow from your prompt template. So the two fields I'm going to add is, let's say we call it as text field here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose text and we'll click on next here. And here I'm going to say issue type. 
and length let's say 250 characters and uh, next visible to all next and save and new and the other would be a rich text area so I'm gonna because the solution can be a little bit longer right so you have this one and then here we are going to have called as resolution okay resolution and this is the field name and then hit next visible to all next and save so what we have done is we have created a knowledge article object with two fields one is called as issue type and the second one is the resolution now we will populate some data into this object because we need the data right that will be referenced during the runtime so here I'll go over to knowledge articles and as I told you we work with the iPhone servicing business right so we service iPhones and right now there are no records we are going to create new records here so before so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to bing.com and we will get some different types of issues that are there with iPhone and their recommended solution so we'll go over to bing.com here and then dot com slash chat and here I'm going to say write me a list of issues related to iPhone and their recommended solutions in form of a table okay so what are the different types of issues that can happen with your iPhone one is battery draining quickly, iPhone overheating, app crashes or freezes, Wi-Fi connectivity issues. So these are different types of issues that are there. And these are the corresponding solutions related to that particular issue. I can say explain recommended solution in more detail based on different different types of iPhone. It's just I'm just kind of getting a better um, answer. So it has battery drain quickly, iPhone overheating. Okay, so now we have it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my knowledge article records. So the first issue is battery draining quickly. So I'm gonna go over to knowledge article, click on new. What is the issue type? Battery draining quickly. And what is the solution? The solution is something like this, okay? iPhone SE and quickly enable this. So this is the solution here. And I'm going to put it over here and then hit save. So this is my first knowledge article. Similarly, I'll create these different types of knowledge articles. You can pause the video. Uh, you can just do it. What I'm doing it, just follow along with me. All I'm doing is copy pasting. I'm just filling up some data in my knowledge article because these will be referenced during our uh, flow based on the subject of the case. Okay, so now here, this is the thing. Third one is app crashes or freezes. I'm going to create another knowledge article here and the solution is it has with all models so I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this and hit save we'll go over to Wi-Fi connectivity issue another knowledge article depending on what type of issue it is so you have it in with these second and third generation of iPhones this hit save so now you got a plenty of answers okay iPhone not charging so we'll click one more article so we got a pretty good list of knowledge article and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this now depending upon what type of case that got created like the cases that we're going to create with the will be iPhone related based on what type of the subject of the case it is if it is iPhone not charging then this particular solution will be presented to the to the user if it is a battery draining related to one then you'll have a different knowledge article that will be sent over to the along with the case so we are going to reference these knowledge articles we'll find the solution from these knowledge article and we'll present it to the user how to call the flow from your prompt template that's what is the thing we are going to see in this lecture series okay so far what we've done is we have created a simple custom object we added some fields and we populated the object with some data are you guys crystal clear? I hope so. If you do not, just watch me what I'm doing and by the end of these series, you're going to understand what I'm trying to teach you. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.